Okay, uh, part three of <clears throat> the freedom chapter for home front on gorilla difficulty. Uh, I cut out the little in-game cutscene of everyone talking at the van. Uh, like I said before, it's not really necessary to have it in this guide since you really don't need any help with that. Uh, this is a section where um, if for some reason you might be low on ammo for a gun and you want to grab something, um, I think I ended up grabbing uh, whatever the name was of that gun I grabbed and I believe, I believe those were the two, yeah, those two bomb guns, I can't think of the name of them. Uh, that gun right there uh, has a silencer. Oh wait, no, I did grab that. Oh wait, did I grab that one? Can't remember now. No, okay. That that gun has a silencer, but it's a one. It's a one shot per. It's um, not like a burst fire or automatic. So it it's not um, the best gun to have for the next section that you're coming up to. Uh, it's better just to have two automatic weapons. Uh, just because of um, how many guys are out here. Uh, I believe I, instead of shooting, I should have just thrown a grenade over there because I probably would have taken out at least for the guys that were just standing there, but uh, uh, gradually uh, you have another uh, sensory tower to take out, uh, but there are quite a few guys to deal with and uh, do avoid grenades. Uh, they, like I said before, they can be pretty accurate with their grenade throw and this guy not paying attention so easy melee kill uh, I've gotten that a couple times where an enemy is just like walking by it's like hey he doesn't see me run up stab so uh, eventually uh, you don't get the objective to take out the tower um, the best path I found to go, and I, I'm, it, I would think it's really the only path, is, uh, to run all the way to the opposite side where that van is, and kind of cut through that house. Uh, there might be a more straightforward way of going, but this way I always found to work the best. So, and also on that other side there were a bunch of soldiers, so, and that guy nearly, nearly ended my day, so. So you just want to slowly move up, uh, there might be, um, a couple guys over by this building, uh, I think that guy is always in the window there, so. But I think you're at just about at just the right angle where he doesn't see you or he just can't get a shot on you. So uh, eventually, you know, I just make a mad dash to the other side of this building, praying that I don't get slaughtered by that sentry gun. And uh, once you get up here, it's just a matter of. Uh, cutting through this uh, backyard area. Um, if you have a grenade, uh, don't feel like I did there. Uh, but get one towards the back area there because there's at least seven soldiers back there that you want to take care of very quickly. Because I have been killed back here. Um, <clears throat> so 
So, uh, once you take care of all these guys, uh, when you move up uh, to the house you need to go into, um, there will be one soldier that's in the upper floor. Uh, he usually sticks his head out when you get close to the house, so just be ready to um, shoot him. Because you don't want to get this far and then have him uh, get a headshot on you or something. So, and be careful of the sentry gun because it actually did detect me right there. So, after you take care of him, uh, coast is clear. Uh, you just need to go up to the top floor to uh, throw a grenade and destroy the tower. And we'll be moving on to the next video. Tunnel. We need to be gone before they mobilize. Over here. 